So anyway, let me get started, give you a quick little history of what we're about today and, uh, and the Emerging Enterprise Center. Where did it come from? What's it all about? Uh, a lot of you may not know the full story, but it kind of started uh, eight years ago uh, when the Newcastle County Chamber was looking to relocate its offices, so we were out searching for office space. Um, within the county chamber, we have something that's called the Economic Development Council, which is a, a partnership with Newcastle County government and about 30 private sector companies that all contribute money to help us fund programs that focus on economic development and job creation. Um, through that partnership, we started to investigate the concept of an incubator. And uh, what happened, as I mentioned, our lease was up with the chamber, and we went looking for space. And I had what I call, and maybe some of you all have had these things, a light bulb moment. Uh, we happened to come across this facility, and I'm like, you know what? That could be an incubator. And uh, it was kind of interesting because then I had to go back and sell this idea to our, my board of directors. So imagine this. We are in 6,000 square feet of space. So I come back, and I say, hey, I've got this great idea, board. Let's move to a 28,000 square foot building and start an incubator. And they're like, Mark, what's an incubator? And this is about uh, 2008, right at the end or the beginning, depending on how you want to look at it, of the, of the Great Recession, where literally the bottom had fallen out. And so after a lot of conversation and explaining to them what the concept was, they kind of basically you know, bought in and said, let's, let's move forward um, with this. And when we started it, there was really four main premises that we were trying to do with the Emerging Enterprise Center. And, and one, it was to help early stage companies grow, but grow faster and create jobs. That was the focus. We wanted to also start to meet the needs of the post-recession economy. Delaware at that time went through a lot of changes. We had lost our car industry, and we continue to go through so many changes as we've seen with the changes in, at DuPont and, and other things in our community. So the EEC is structured to help meet the needs of our changing economy. We also wanted to help develop something you're going to hear a lot about moving forward on all fronts, the entrepreneurial ecosystem. How do we get and create this community of support for early stage companies so they can continue to grow? And the fourth concept was something that's called Let a Thousand Flowers Bloom. And that comes from a book that was written by a, a guy that worked for a, a startup company in California a long time ago, something called Apple. Remember what Apple was a wild idea? And, and it's now become the industry standard. But a gentleman by the name of Guy Kawasaki wrote a book called Rules for Revolutionaries, the Capitalist Manifesto. And he had 10 chapters in it and 10 concepts about how you grow, how you make things happen. And one of them was called Let a Thousand Flowers Bloom. And the idea was to try things, have more companies, support these companies. And if things happen, it will be good for the economy. So in a lot of ways, the EEC is about helping a thousand flowers bloom. So anyway, how did we get here? How did we do? Well, to kind of get things started, I went to uh, Bob Chadwick. Who's, where's Bob? And uh, I gave him two books about incubators, and I said, let's figure this out, Bob. And, uh, and he proceeded to do a lot of due diligence, went around and visited a number of incubators, got a lot of good ideas. We borrowed a lot of best practices and plugged them in here to Delaware in the Emerging Enterprise Center. And one of the things we did, I think was pretty smart, we, we have very specific rules and regulations on how the incubator runs and what we're expecting from our companies who participate in it. But what we did is we wrote the rules and regulations in pencil because we needed to be flexible to meet the needs of the economy and the companies that are starting to grow. So it seemed to go uh, pretty well. The board agreed. And uh, we're off and running, and it's been eight years. So how did we do? We've worked with 31 companies over the time that we've been in operations. And when I say work with them, they've been in residence at the EEC. When they were in residence at the EEC, they generated $43 million in revenue while they were with us. And bear in mind, Many have graduated and are gone on and creating additional revenue. And, and in addition, during the time that they've been with us, we've been able to monitor and track. They created 153 full-time jobs.